following series was recorded live from Twitch TV. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for future live streaming events. Details are in the description below. Okay. I need to make sure the buttons are here. Let's do it, Red Ranger style. Challenge myself to out for that. Here we go! <laughs> See how see how long it takes me to beat this game, shall we? Let's go. Haha, <laughs> take that! Jason goes down to no one. Oh no, it's trench coat guys! No, how dare you knife me? Call this a speed run, uh, speed run, no speed run. Let's put that, let's put that, let's uh, say it like that, shall we? A speed run that works some of the time, half the time, let's have a look. Well, sadly, I don't actually know how to add timers onto the speed the live stream. If I knew, I would put one on, but sadly I don't. I've just got one running in the background instead. I think my best time is doing this in an hour, which is quite terrible. I'm not going to think about it, but it's something. I think I did it first time, I think it was like hour and three quarters, so let's see if we can not do it in hour and a half minimum. Because I want to gradually beat my time as best I can. And here we go! It's Morphin time! Two rose swords! Love it. And now we've got swords! And suplexes! And then we go and slap you. Yeah, do, 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 do. love this game. The white morphing power rangers are my jam. I use OBS to stream, by the way, Thompson. Just so you know. Oh, mechanical birds with drop bombs, ain't that nice? The thing is, Jason is not actually the best character in this. The best character is Kimberly. I just thought I would go as Jason to mix things up a bit, to start things off. But then I'll probably end up maining Kimberly for the remainder of this run, because she is the best. Okay, here we go. Just, just work it, work it. There you go, there you go. Throw you a bench when I go up to you and slam you down. I slice you with my sword and you know you're not gonna hit me today. Throw you a bench so you can sit down. And then I will attack you one at a time. Just because you think you're super boss. Does not mean that you will defeat me right here, right now. Cause I'm Red Major, V Red Major. Oh, love it. Love it. Oh. Oh. Are we doing it? Yeah! We are proper going for it, aren't we? Nice. Now, you can actually blow up these cars, we do nothing, but. Blowing them up is quite a nice little aesthetic touch. Keep going, slicey, slicey. Give you a bow, give you guys a bow. Oh. Ah! Good. 
That's good. Keep them all on one side. That's a good idea. Yes. Here we go. Boss fight supreme. Let's do this, skelly, rapier guy. Oh. Do 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 do. Beating you, that's me. Do 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 do. Beating you, oh yes. Do 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 do. See, but the only troubling part of this game, the boss fights are friggin' long. Even if you're trying to do a speed run, the bosses take ages to take down. Oh, they can be staggered pretty easily if you know what their patterns are. Like, this guy just randomly jumps around. It's pretty easy to trace what he does. When he goes into head mode. Oh no, sorry. Body mode. Body mode first, throwing out the fireballs, of course. Then it gets tougher. Here we go, now he goes into head mode, as I like to call it. Getting some head. So now you just juggle. And dead. Brilliant. Fantastic! First level done. I like this, let's keep going. I like. I would time it just by when the stream started, but it's not going to help, is it? Right, Kimberly. And you'll see why Kimberly is the best. Kimberly is the best because female, but as well as that, she also has a bow whenever she transforms into her ranger mode. Did I mention the stage music in this game is amazing? Oh, these dark green guys can be a bit annoying. They never seem to go down! So when you end up doing your Megatron impression, you go, FALL! FALL! Brilliant. Uh oh, here we go, bells. Most difficult part of the fight, by all means. Yeah, sometimes you gotta get off screen in order for them to come back on screen. Well, thanks for telling me about Thompson. I'll have to sort that out the next time I plan on doing any speed runs or any timing related things ever. Because I might just see that to time when, um, how long it takes me to do bosses in the Dark Souls run. Which may not be a bad idea, actually. May not be a bad idea. I'll search that up after the stream's done. Just, just remind me what it is and I'll sort it out. Keep calm and keep combos. Yeah! I throw out more combos for TJ combo in Figure Killer Instinct, and I love TJ, he's great. I just love how he just comes on screen and he's like, Nope, you're not on my screen, you're not. There you go. I don't want to take my fingers off the controller at all possible. Throws. How dare you kick a Kimberly? How dare you? Kimberly should be kicking you. Here we go. Boss number two. Gotten a gnome person. And it's morphin time. Terminator. And this is why Kimberly is amazing. Friggin' arrows. However, the only problem with her arrows is that they take a while. <laughs> yeah, you can always personal message me. I would prefer if you did that on Steam, though, if you were to do that. You have me on Steam anyway. At least 
I hope you have me on stage. <laughs> it makes everything so much easier. Yeah, but look at that. I can now do keep away tactics. And still juggle them. But the main point of Kimberly is that her range is so good that for speed running it's the best thing. It does exactly the same damage as everything else. The problem with her arrows is that her arrows are actually weaker than her normal attacks. So just don't use it. You just use the range attacks, which are insanely good. These can be a bit tricky, but not insanely tricky. That's bad on my part, but it's fine. Here we go, here we go. There you go. Now we've got flaming things falling from the sky, which is always good. Because now the town, the factory is burning down. Yay! Now this is probably the first instance of death you may get if you're not used to the game. Because these things can drop randomly. But they mostly drop on the far left and the far right hand side, so if you stay in the middle, you're relatively good. They do also affect enemies, so you can manipulate them if you so wish. Smash my shield up! See what I mean with that range? Kimberly just is insanely good. Go, 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 go. So, just have to have a scratchy nose right now. There you go. I'm liking that one. Aha. Now most drones you can basically ignore. They're not gonna be much of a threat whatsoever. Right. But if you do want to destroy them, you can. Oh that's bad for me. That is super bad for me. Oh. Ah! Oh. Missed it, missed it, no, missed it. Come on! Oh wait, I was supposed to do that, yep. <laughs> Forgot you can wall jump in this. And it's actually a really viable mechanic. I do believe you can also destroy those drones, let me see. Yep, you can. Celebratory arrow. Now this makes the arena a little bit tougher because now you have jets of steam, not fire, but well sometimes fire, but the fire comes out at a very, very obvious moment of time. You can literally just stand in the middle and take them all out. I just like standing on the side because it, it controls them a little bit better. At least from my point of view it controls them a bit better. Man. Ah, I forgot, that's not a wall, you can just simply jump. One just will simply jump off of my wall. Come on. Here we go, here we go, Kim's, yes. Ah, oh, no! Are you kidding me? Yeah, those... Mm, those drones can be really, really annoying. Yeah, but has a move of a path in your bees, so that's good. Come on, let's keep going. Go this way. There you go. <laughs> Mace guys! Still easy to take out. Ah, but now you see a mace guy that's hidden behind the girder. Oh. Still easy to take out. Take that. 
casual choke slam, why not? How dare you mace me? This is where things get a little bit daunting because now you're dealing with mace guys. And the mace guys can be terrible. Unless you have health, and health is green. Everyone loves health. And now it's boss fight number two, let's go. This boss can be a bit annoying just because it randomly pops up above you or below you, but if you're okay, you can, you'll be able to predict the move pretty well. Like, I'm doing okay. You can even get a good combo in if you're close enough, and if you're fast enough. It's when she pops up up, up there, that's the problem. You have to make sure you're facing the right direction as well. Um, work with me, boss. Yeah, this is where the boss gets tough. Now it's randomly going to appear in an A set location. But what I like to do is that. Because that actually deals quite a bit of damage. And. And we're done! Actually, let me know. Do you want me to do Kimberly through the whole thing or use every, every other ranger? Because. I know if I did it speedily, I would just use Kimberly all the way through. And I'll probably end up using Kimberly all the way through anyway. Because she's amazing! She's a true hero. And I know, I've played her at least. I know what makes a true hero work. But now we're in the sewers, because of course you need an obligatory sewer level in a video game, so it's fine. And Robo Spiders, apparently. Can destroy, so that's fine. But now you introduce two levels. An upper and a lower level. Now this is actually gonna come to play and screw you over a bit if you're not careful. Luckily you can kick those electro boxes so you don't have to be too careful. You are fine. I think there are only five levels in the entire game in all honesty, Thompson. Um, the game's not very long. You can get through it really friggin' fast. I think the main thing that I've seen which scares people about this game is its difficulty because some of the bosses, and especially the last boss of the game, can be really friggin' hard. And some of the enemies can be insanely cheap if you let them. Like, look. The first level where I'm literally on half health. But don't worry, we have crate chicken. It's not as good as wall chicken, but I'll gladly take it. Because crate chicken. It's crate. That should be on the box of it. Crate chicken. So crate. So crate. Much chicken. Not doing bad actually. Get a health back and it's fine. Now obviously we've got drills and the drills can be a pain in the butt because they, they like drilling you. That's all innuendos included, I might say. That's just seeing, I mean I oh wow. Ah. Sometimes you just can't predict that, you just gotta be careful and use it wisely. The cool thing is, you can just do mix-ups all the time, so you can do buys, lows, and grabs on the fly, which is absolutely fine. Because I think after the sewer level we haven't got that much of a game left, actually. Yeah, and it's I Blob Guy. Whatever, it's morphin' time. Let's kick it up a notch. 
complete with bow powers. It's good to use the bow for keeping far away enemies at bay if you just want to concentrate on one at a time because it staggers. It's a good move, it's a good weapon for better that. In this case though, in this level, or the starting part here, it's kinda used against you. Hey, look! Calling mechanics! Yay! We all have a good call. Do you remember that time when you were a child and you thought, yeah, I'll cool down that very, very tight gap? Because you thought it was a great idea when you were a kid, yeah. Just go crawling around, have some fun. Don't be careful though, you can can't just simply run by. Do it away, though. Yeah, there you go. Before I would catch you. Oh, here we go. Uh, not even a jump animation, it's a fall animation. Hey, look, swimming! I can't fight when water levels are high. And yet they can, making this bit insanely hard. And you move slower when you're swimming, which also makes it hard. This level is just built to screw you over. Oh, what's that? You like being able to hit things? Well, not at the moment. You're gonna hate hitting things by the time I'm done with you. There you go. Oh god. The trick is, if you stay low enough, they can't actually hit you. Ah! Come on! Let me hit down the walls! There you go, getting the health back, that's good. That's where you just do some wall jumps. Ninja Gaiden, eat your heart out. Ow. Forgot about that one. Yeah. Some of the wall jumps can be a little bit tricky, but they're not that hard. Not that hard whatsoever once you manage them. Right, I'm gonna jump on this one. Ooh, there you go. And now, it should be... No, no, not boss time yet. Go away yet. This is now the thing you've got to be careful of. These fans now hurt you. It's not as bad as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle level where it's covered with friggin' eel-tastic eel shock things, as I call them, apparently. Because those were a pain in the butt. Come on, water level drop for me. Here we go, because now. Now we've got playing fields. And you can actually keep people at bay a heck of a lot easier. This is a great thing about Kimberly, you can just take the middle ground and absolutely slam it. You got a timer ready for next time, okay. Thank you, Thompson. You can see how long it takes me to beat one of the bosses, so that I can time roughly how long it's taking me to kick those guys in the butt. That would be handy. Wow, really? I'm not going to get that, am I? Oh, Wow! Come on. If only you can manipulate the water levels, but you really can't. There's a lot of things you can't do in this game once you realise it. So many things you do want to do. Like, no! Uh, now I have to wait for water to get up so I can get over there. It's a pain in the butt. There you go. At least my health is quite good for a boss. I like that. That's why I was actually taking time. I took time out to get health for this boss fight because if, if I'm not mistaken, I hate this boss fight because he only has one weak spot. Guess where it is? Yep. It's his eye! And he does really crazy things like this. Do 
the great thing is, every single one of his attacks is ins insanely easy to dodge. But too bad for me, I don't actually know the definition of insanely easy to dodge. Yeah, you can time each level from here on. That'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, you can fly from one side of the screen to the other. That's great. Let's do that. Get some serious damage on. There we go. Now he goes in a flying ball mode. Oh no, it's high ball. Turns into Igor. I will call you Igor for you and I. Come on. And I believe boss fight done. Defeated. There you're clear. I'm on to the next one. Here we go. We're not doing too bad, actually. If this is the area, yep, yeah, it's the mall. Hardest level, the hardest area I've ever had the liberty of playing in a video game. It is a royal pain. I would say keep tabs on the passwords, but I'm fine. We don't need no stinking passwords! What? Hell! Do my scrag impression for anyone who plays Apes Odyssey. <laughs> slapping your face, suplexing you away. Oh yeah, man, slapping your face, doing it because I know how to slap in your face. Let me slap you. Not mistaken, you can actually hit that thing. Oh. No, you can't. Okay. Except I'm dodging that thing then. But you can use it to attack enemies, which is fine. You just gotta be insanely careful, because now this part of the level just got insanely harder. And you don't go into ranger mode for quite some time. Especially if you're as bad as I am. Man, I thought that one actually dropped health. Come on. The struggle is truly real. In Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, one does not simply defeat Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed. One must become the epitome of justice. Justice! My name is Chin! If only, if only you could play a secret unlockable character, Crimson Chin. I love him. Crippled hard in this stage. Yep, I'll do it yet. That's the other thing as well, because because hits don't count off screen sometimes. And because they have range over you when you're not in your ranger form, it's a pain of a butt. And now we have to fight on the stairs, because stair battles. Luckily, low kicks are always good when fighting on stairs. Pro tip, when fighting on stairs, use low kicks. Just because kicking the nuts. Yeah, I love Fairly Odd Parents. So good. So much chin. Can we get hashtag Crimson Chin going? I think, I think we can. Ooh. Oh, that was 
really badass when we're both like jumping and crossing over one another. And then you got these ominous red suits. They're just a pain in the butt. There you go. There you go. Here we go, morphing time. Who are we facing against this time? It's Shaman Dog Guy! <laughs> Shaman Dog! I swear these guys are giving the drop their names. I swear they really were. I just don't know. And it's a shame that I don't know. They're probably Super Sentai exclusives, you know. The chin is real, ladies and gentlemen. The chin is real. Let's go. Crimson chin powers activate. Come on. Obligatory elevator fight. Because it's a thing. You have to go through it. It's one of the many challenges of being a true hero. You have to have an elevator battle. Jump that one. Jump left. It's easy, anyway. It's not like you're facing an impossible task. Do, do, do. Dodging the crab, dodging all the crab. OMG, dodging the crab. Darking underneath and moving left and right because I am dodging the crab. So from there, you just climb on up. That helps along the way. Cool. Let's have a cool kids do it. You can actually destroy those, which is super handy. I believe you can destroy those as well. But it's not a blink to it. Oh, I thought you needed to. Oh, you do it there. Now, here we go, snipers. Because every game needs snipers of some kind. Very easy to get rid of. Well, you may have to restart your screen if it's still saying Tekken, because it's not. It's saying Mighty Morphin if you restart the stream. Girders! Because girders! Now, if I'm not mistaken, the girders only fall on the right hand side, so if you just keep the distance, you can juggle them really friggin' easily. Now, now it gets a bit tougher, because. Oh, grab that. That's an extra bomb, but we don't need it, and I failed. Oh well, yeah, because I haven't been able to update the Steam page because I'm kind of in midstream now. If you want to do it, go for it. Now I do need to be careful. That was a death I did not need. See, now I'm stacking off. I'm losing it. Ever so slightly. There we go, guys, again. So. Left hand side, this right hand side is easy. Just use your arrows to stagger. There you go. Now I'm gonna go for health again, but. Sorry, it was a bomb. I forgot about that. I forgot about it, but you just did it. Yeah, I know. That's how bad my memory is. Yeah, and it's a slight elevation on the stairs to the right, so you can do your low attacks again to benefit from that, because of course, stair battles, low attacks, go hand in hand. These just remind me of the dragon heads from Castlevania, because of their attack patterns and how they work. 
and then you have this mini boss. Uh, 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 who won't come up. And then will come up and we will treat you like this. Oh, that's fine. We actually had a good one then. Okay, that's not bad. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Here we go. Now we have Dog Shaman. And his boss fight isn't insanely tough, like the daggers are the most annoying part of his fight. Because they go in different directions, depending on where you are on the screen. Oh, that's bad. Fireballs are normally the easiest to dodge. The mirrors? Yeah, they're not a big pain. In fact, if you can manipulate game of mirrors out, that's really good. Look, keep him at a distance like that, everything's good with it. His knives are seriously beat. Pain in the neck. Well, you can do this. That'll do quite a bit. Like quite a nice chunk of damage on him. Just gotta be careful of those knives, really. Those knives can be a pain. There you go. Dog Shaman defeated. There is no form 2 of Dog Shaman. So there you go. That level done. Let's go again. I do believe this is the last stage of the game. Area 5. Into Hell, as I like to call it. Because it kind of, it kind of looks like hell, but you're actually fighting on the moon. At Rita Repulsa's base. And Rita's done this place up, I'll give her that. Had a bit of renovating. I think Goldar had something to do with this lay layout. Looks a bit. Go Goldar. 10 minutes 21, main bad. Main bad. I can deal with that. 10 minutes per level, that ain't bad. It's the final boss that brings the game up to an hour. At least most of the time it does. This is where you realise that keeping enemies on the same side of the screen is a huge benefit. I thought that was actually something, never mind. It's been a while. Yeah, and look, now we have swords. So of course now, of course you got to lay them out. Because they're aiming. But yeah, again, that was 10 minutes keeping in mind that I did die accidentally. That's fine, it happens. They are so OP, it's not a lie. It's not a lie. It's my morphing time against Ninja! The Ninja guy is super cool and is one of the hardest bosses in the game. Apart from the final boss, who is a complete and utter troll. 
And I will agree, he is a troll and a half and don't know what you're doing. of the level. And then we'll have an epic boss fight of ninja proportions. Yeah, this is where you start realising low kicks are insanely OP. It's too bad you start learning this when it's near, near enough the end of the game, so... Yeah, I haven't been using this tactic mainly because I wanted to play the game semi normally beat it as best I can. There you go. Ooh, battle. Take it. <laughs> I love it when you can just give a guy a battle and just say, yep, that's your present. Enjoy it. Plus, low kicks are even better against these guys because they have range attacks. So what are you going to do? You're going to dunk those range attacks and wow, that was idiotic of me. But you see, low attacks. Every time. Like, I'll do it again. Low attacks. Of course, low attacks will not dodge that. Which is, by the looks of things, got an upgrade since the last time we came. It's now acting like uh, something out of bloody Tetris. Not Tetris, friggin' Space Invaders, what more than that? Oh, muscles. Yep. Yeah, that is strange how Kimberly suddenly goes from the, the feminine Kimberly we all know and love to all of a sudden. Muscles! Muscles McGee! And it's M U S C L E. That's my live streams teaching you how to spell since the third grade. Done. Okay. Low attacks again. Because you lose your kick in face of a low, low bow. <laughs> Lobo. And now computer room. Because computer room. Obligatory computer room level, of course. Wow, that, that was stupid of me. I don't care, she gets jacked, ain't that true? Are you, are you into people like that? Like, being really jacked? Really jacked people? I'm 50-50, it depends. Like, if you're, if you're well built, then yeah, that's sexy. But if you're mega jacked, then it'd be a bit daunting. Yeah, we're doing alright. We're doing fine. So you, will, you can do aerial grabs, but the aerial grabs are much harder to actually pull off. Simply because you just need to be in the right place at the right time. It's never that easy. And the elevator goes up. Revealing the stage of warning, apparently. Oh yeah, that's a thing. So this is the level where you have a gigantic mega laser in the middle of the room. You have to dodge it as you progress. And how do you dodge it? By climbing up here. Or going down there. But luckily the enemies get absolutely destroyed. Luckily, since you know how to dock, which is the most overpowered thing in the game, you can deal with everything with clumps by. Let's 
see what I mean? The laser just does everything for you. Get through that. I don't think you can actually destroy that one, but it's okay. Uh, well, they say it's okay, and then I get absolutely smashed by it. As long as you stay on that side whilst you're dealing with it. enemies, because apparently these doors don't open for us, so we need to smash them through with a bow. I've never seen the mistreatment of a bow before in any video game ever. Well done, Kimberly. You've revolutionised bowcraft. Here we go. This boss is actually really cool. Uh, he goes all over the place, he uses smoke screens. He is quite a tough boss to actually go against, but he's just super fun. Especially because the art style as well just does him so much justice. He's not the hardest boss, but just gotta know when to pop up. Strike him a few times. If you wanna sell off your bomb, you can. I probably will in a minute. I'm doing okay at the moment. Now! Only problem with a bomb, you're gonna set it off when you know you're gonna get the max amount of hits. I did not get the max amount of hits, but I didn't do too bad. Yeah, and then halfway through the fight, he'll switch out to this. He'll switch out his weapons, so he'll mix it up. Let it be said, I've only died to this boss once whenever I've played this game. And it was when I was pretty young, and then I basically made a really big mistake when I was fighting him, so there you go. Job done! And boss is defeated. Area clear, and we move on. To the penultimate level of the game. We need Megazord power now! Sabertooth Tiger! Let's all say it together, Saber Tube Tiger. Triceratops! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! And everyone's favourite, because he's red! Tyrannosaurus! Let's go! Megazord power! Let's rock it! Area 6, the final battle. Well, one of the final battles. And we're against giant... Weird guy. Now it turns into a fighting game. With actual fighting game mechanics. Such as blocks. Ducks. You can't jump though. And that bar on the bottom is your power bar if you just let it fill. thing is, if you let your power bar fill, eventually you'll be able to do something like that! Super attack! Which takes off half his bar, which is fantastic. And I'm gonna try doing that a lot. I think this is what actually inspired the actual fighting game equivalent of the Power Rangers game. Because yes, there was one, and I might have to do that for Retro Wednesday at some point. Oh, have a finish off. Zah! Zah! Stab him in the chest, and finish him! Zah! Epic Slash! Nice. Let's end this. Against against an enemy that clearly isn't Megatron, but really is Megatron. Look. It's friggin' Megatron! Let's go! Come on. 
I find it really tough to fight this guy, so if I can actually beat him first go, I will be shocked. Oh my god. Go! Time! That's it! Finish him! Oh no! Form 2! I forgot about Form 2. Where things, where things get more primal. Wow, serious? I was not expecting that to happen. Mm. There you go. Yes! Here we go. Friggin' final! Smash! Time! Game is over. We win. That's it. We did it. And yes, that was on the freaking moon. Win. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Yeah. I just love how Zack looks the worst out of everyone on that car. Bless him. But there you go! Beat the game faster than I did last time. I, I believe I did. I'll have to check. When I get the chance and when I'm able to look over the stream, because obviously I'll be editing this down for YouTube, I'll check the actual final time that I have and I'll put it in the description of that video, because I swear this is a personal record for me. No way is this going to be friggin' world record territory, but... I was lucky I freaking beat it first time. And look at those dance moves! Let's do the Zack!